Oh my god. when you're on the same Wi-Fi. But if you're on a different network or you're outside of the house, suddenly you'll be unable to control or connect to any of the devices in your house. I see it as essential to be able to make sure lights are turned off or the AC is adjusted how I want it when I'm outside the house. You also won't be able to run any automations properly without a home hub. Thankfully, getting one is super easy. If you have an Apple TV or HomePod on the same network, signed into the same Apple ID, they will automatically be set up as a home hub, so you won't need to worry about it. It's possible to set up an iPad as a home hub in the settings app under home, but this is less advisable, especially if you plan on getting Matter devices, as the iPad cannot be a home hub for the updated home architecture. If you don't yet have an Apple TV or HomePod to act as your home hub, you can usually find great deals on certified refurbished HomePod minis. You can really easily add a new HomePod to your account, and if you pick up two, you can even set them up in a stereo pair for a much wider soundstage. Once you have your home hub set up and powered on, the next feature you need to make use of are automations. You definitely aren't getting the most out of your smart home if you've just replaced every physical button or switch with an equally or even more cumbersome voice command. Instead, let automations do the work for you. While you can get way more complicated with sensors and the like, I think the best way to start is keeping it simple with timed automations. One of the first automations I ever set up was automatically turning off and on outdoor Christmas lights. But if you have a porch light, you can set it up to turn on either at a specific time or automatically based on sunset, so it adjusts the exact time throughout the course of the year. You can have it automatically turn off the light after a specific number of minutes or hours or you can use a separate automation, run at the same time every day to make sure outdoor lights are off. Continuing with those automations, they're a great way to wake up in the morning rather than dealing with typical alarms. If you have a regular wake up time, 
you can have your lights gradually turn on to a dim setting. You can even take it to the next level by upgrading your existing curtains into smart curtains. Have them open up just before sunrise to let the natural light wake you up in the morning and set them to close at sunset so people can't see inside your house. Smart curtains may not be for everyone, but I love having mine and they could be worth considering. I use a Cars Curtain Driver E1, but there are options from other brands as well. There are also a ton of smart blind options if you prefer to have your automated control on blinds rather than curtains. Next,